Okay, you have added OpenTelemetry to your .NET project, but now I have a question for you. Are you sure it will be easy to maintain in the future? That's why today I have five tips for you, so you make sure that you have added OpenTelemetry to your .NET project in a maintainable way. Tip number one, avoid the shim. Tracing in .NET is built on top of the activity source. That means that what you have is the term activities. But in OpenTelemetry, we refer to those as traces and spans. And that's why there's a shim available. So if you want to use those terms, the OpenTelemetry terms, you can use them. However, if you don't have a good reason for that, don't do it. Why? By using the shim, you bring an extra dependency. And if you are building something like a library, someone will need to depend on that and you will impose a dependency to them. Not only that, but if you go online, look for information about OpenTelemetry, you will see that it's more common to see using the activity source than using the tracer from the ship. So unless you have a really good reason to use the shim, make sure you use the activity source. Tip number two, use a static class for diagnostics. In order to create your traces, your metrics, you will need access to the activity source or to the meter. Those are static properties that you will have in your source code. And a common approach is to put those behind an interface for the sake of testing or to isolate that dependency. But in fact, you don't need that. If you are using the activity source name, the activity source, keep them in a static class and you can reference it everywhere. Before we keep going, I have some news for you. I have a new course available at ThumbTrain and it's all about OpenTelemetry for .NET developers. So if you want to go from start to finish in a journey that will teach you how to bring OpenTelemetry to your projects, don't miss the opportunity to grab the course with 20% discount. Keep in mind that the discount code is limited so you want to be one of the first. And now let's get back to the video. Tip number three, use constants and prefixes. When you are manually instrumenting your code, which will be quite common to set the names of tags, attributes, or meters, or entries in the baggage. For that, you will need the key. And if you keep writing those keys in place, you might get into a problem, a maintainability problem. So a good practice is to start right out of the gate by creating a list of constants that you can use for those cases. For example, having a tag constant list that you have all the tags. So when you are, for example, adding something to the baggage or taking out of the baggage, you have a central place where you will maintain that on that place. You don't have the risk of having duplication. And then when you evolve one, you might forget to evolve the other one. So keep them all in a central place. But also it's a good idea to use prefixes on those tags. I like to use prefixes to group tags. That will simplify my life if I need to write something like span processor that needs to grab all the tags into a, a given place, but I'm only interested in tags that come from a specific scenario. Tip number four, use extension methods. You will eventually realize that things like starting a given activity or setting a group of tags to an activity will happen often. So it's a good idea to extract that to extension methods that you can reuse everywhere. That way you have that code centralized in a single place and you can apply it whatever you want. Tip number five, record exceptions. When you catch an exception, instead of logging that exception or manually adding it as an event to an activity, use the record exception method. It's a way to simplify the process of adding to the current activity the exception that happened. Besides that, you can use a flag to change the status of the current activity. So if you want to flag that activity with an error, you can do it. So do you have any other tip regarding open telemetry in .NET and maintainability that you want to share? I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment. And if there's any other type of question about open telemetry that you'd like to see me answer, please leave a comment as well. And after that, make sure you watch this video right here, where I will share with you why the metrics, traces, and logs are not pillars. They are, in fact, signals.